Ladies and gentlemen, the Shrek Gaming Telecom video, let's discuss some recent GPU Z validation so that have popped up online. So these GPU validations may well hint or at least point to the final specifications of the GM200s. A card name with the name of Quadro M6000. Don't get confused with the AMD card, by the way, which has a very similar name. That would be the AMD Fire Pro M6000. So don't get those two conf confused. But a card's popped up, and it, if we're even slightly accurate here, it has a BIOS that's never been seen before, and it also has a mysterious code name of 17F0, which once again is unique. We don't know what the technology is, it's popping up as 0NM, which I don't think we're quite there yet. But um, we do know that it has a rather impressive amount of shaders, 3072. If you're not too sure of the number of CUDA cores that really is, compare that to the 980, which has 2048. So in other words, we're pretty much looking at an improvement of 50%. To translate that into very real numbers, the amount of FP performance, floating point performance, imp improves pretty much linearly. So you're going from 4.61 teflops all the way to 6.07 teflops, a memory bandwidth of the rather ridiculous, to be frank, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Um, goes from 244 gigabytes per second all the way up to 317 gigabytes per second. Now, I just want to reiterate, this is, for a Quadro part, at least from what we can tell, but whether these same specs are going to find themselves into what I guess most people are going to call it the Bigs Maxwell, or a very similar like-for-like, -like, then... Well, who knows? But if it does end up being the GTX 980, or not, or should I say 980 Ti, or perhaps NVIDIA won't release the 980 Ti's yet, maybe they'll release, let's say, the new Titan. That would be kind of cool, because this is a lot of computing performance. Um, and we all know that the next couple of months is going to be very interesting. Uh, we know that the Quadra M6000 is expected to launch pretty soon. Some are guessing it's going to appear at CES 2015, at the very least in possibly the form of a PowerPoint slide. Whether that's really going to happen or not, who the hell knows? As I was mentioning just a few seconds ago, the GPU market is changing quite a bit. We know that AMD are releasing killer cards quite soon as well, and we're waiting naturally for not only the 980 Ti's and most likely the Titans from uh, Nvidia, but also the GTX 960's. But it's going to be very interesting because obviously, if AMD are going to be releasing their own new architectures, and let's face it, they probably will be. And from what we're understanding from slides and discussions and stuff with AMD, those those cards are going to be quite. Well, quite ridiculous in performance. Let's just be totally blunt. This is what we want. And with Microsoft for just in the background tinkering with DirectX 12, which is obviously going to be fairly important, put it mildly, with um, PC gaming, it's going to be a pretty good time for us. Also, tying in with all of this, um, if you're looking at screens which is, you know, something you might do every couple of years, PC monitor screens. We're seeing the advent of FreeSync um, becoming more synonymous and all of the other various technologies like G-Sync and so forth. But furthermore, and possibly just as importantly, uh, 4K and 1440p, obviously there's quite a differential there in terms of resolution, but 1440p, uh, 4K and so on and so forth are starting to become a thing. And so, you know, these GPUs, which really, as I've said several times over, you don't really need a super high-end GPU to run at 1080p, um, max everything out. Sure, you could, if you want to do downsampling and so, and so forth, but, you know, basically you don't really need it if you're just running, like, FXAA or maybe a small amount of uh, multi-sample anti-aliasing. But certainly to drive a higher-end display at the moment, we're kind of struggling. 
um, especially for games which are more technically demanding. And so I think for the next couple of years, GPU manufacturers are going to, well, be kind of behind the bat. Um, CPUs at the moment also, of course, are becoming increasingly multi-threaded. It will be a very interesting time, I think, for the PC industry, as I've said, over the next couple of years. But in the meanwhile, and keeping our head firmly in the here and now, uh, obviously we've got the GTX 980s and the R9 290 and the 290Xs, as well as the GTX 970s, which are holding out to be... For the most part, holding out any PC gamer, you know, you've got a, a variety of different price points there, starting from the mid 200 range upwards. But obviously, these cards they've got so much performance, um, who knows how much they're going to cost? Um, with a GPU clock of about one gigahertz and so forth, it's a lot of it's a lot of performance 96 ROPs for the love of God. That's that's a lot of rastering, anyway. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care, bye for now.